This morning, OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, introducing the world to this groundbreaking text-to-video AI tool called Sora that can quickly create videos on command like this. This feels like a very big moment, a turning point. CEO Sam Altman stating, we're teaching AI to understand and simulate the physical world in motion. Unlike Google's Lumiere, which was released a month ago, Sora has the capability to produce videos up to one minute in length. This development underscores the intensifying competition among tech giants like OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft in the burgeoning field of text-to-video generation. Projected to become a $1.3 trillion industry by 2032. In this video, we will focus on how Sora actually works. The technical methods used for turning visual data of all types into a unified representation that enables large-scale training of generative models, qualitative evaluation of Sora's capabilities and limitations. Let's dive in. Or LLM uses tokens to unify diverse modalities, like code, math, and natural languages. Sora employs visual patches as its equivalent of text tokens. At a high level, this means turning videos into patches by first compressing videos into a lower dimensional latent space, and subsequently decomposing the representation into space-time patches. They extract a series of space-time patches from compressed input videos, which function as transformer tokens. This method is applicable to images as well, as they can be seen as single-frame videos. The patch-based approach allows Sora to train on videos and images with varying resolutions, durations, and aspect ratios. Sora functions as a diffusion model, tasked with predicting the original, clean patches from input noisy patches and conditioning information, such as text prompts. The key idea behind diffusion models is to iteratively apply a series of reversible transformations to a set of noisy samples. These transformations gradually reduce the level of noise in the samples, making them increasingly resemble the desired output. By learning the dynamics of this diffusion process through training on large datasets, diffusion models can effectively generate realistic and high-resolution images. There is not much details on tech report from OpenAI. Neither Sora is available for general use yet. But one thing is certain, this is the most advanced model for video generation out there. That's all from our side. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about the Sora model.